questions. I would request you all to be on listen only mode, please. There'll be a QA session at the end of the conference. So you can share your questions on the chat window and we'll take them one by one. In case you drop out, please rejoin us using the same invite link. Today we have with us Tech Mahindra's Managing Director and CEO CP Gandani, Chief Financial Officer Manoj Bhatt, and Head Corporate Development and Global Health, uh, Head for Healthcare and Financial Services, Vivek Agarwal. Without any further delay, over to you, CP. Thanks, Avilasha, and good evening, and welcome to Tech Mahindra Quarter 3 21 results. Thank you again for joining us today. I do know that uh, it's a little unusual day and the time, uh, particularly considering that we have a lot happening uh, everywhere else. Uh, Last quarter when we had met, uh, we had discussed how Tech Mahindra's strategy, which is next.now, is helping enterprises and our clients across the world with digital transformation. And also that there is an acceleration in adoption of new age technologies by telcos and enterprises around the world. Over the past few months, we have witnessed not only COVID becoming the year of digitalization, but we have also looked and participated in many of our clients now migrating to the cloud. Uh, we have also noticed is that remote working, working from home has now been changed and for Tech Mahindra, it's no longer working from home. Our technology has matured, our command and control center has matured and it is no longer working from home, it is work from anywhere. So, Overall, I believe that these shifts are here to stay. That means increased digitalization, include increased cloud uptake, increased work from anywhere, and more importantly, that we have proven over the last few quarters that A, your company has been agile, your company has been able to adapt ourselves to the market changes and more importantly has been able to home grow technologies uh, which take into account data security work from anywhere and increase digital market velocity i think to help me and the group executives uh, what we did was we actually set up four task forces. The first task force was on the process transformation. As you know, what I just discussed with you was a huge process change. Uh, as my CIO would put it, he earlier used to manage 90 offices. Now he had to manage 124,000 offices because when people can work from anywhere, that means he had to take into account how to work together with all of you. Number two, on the process side, number two on the process side, uh, what we have also noticed is that some of the processes have to be adopted to the new normal. So the process transformation office, which is headed by Neera Jain, who is our ex-CFO of Combiva, uh, is working very, very diligently with my CIO and Abhijit, our chief automation officer, and it is working very well. The second office we set up was growth office. Uh, in growth office, we have looked at what we believe is the Tech Mahindra's real asset, 
which is our about 1000 customer relationship we have we are now getting a lot closer in engaging with our clients considering that the feedback loops were broken because of lack of physical meetings and not being able to interactively travel or uh, adjust to the new normal so overall i think again the growth office has done a phenomenal job of connecting better with almost 1000 clients of tech mahindra the third one is what we call as a transformation office uh, which is looking at uh, automation delivery uh, next future of delivery next generation delivery uh, new alliances and most importantly is uh, that they are also looking at industrial engineering of our costs uh, business transformation culture transformation as you know are very interrelated and hence we have a dedicated people transformation office and uh, ultimately these four vectors that means the process transformation the growth transformation the delivery and the cost transformation office and the people transformation office all four of them working together i think have started reflecting in our results so you all have the uh, you know results in front of you but however i will take you through the highlights our revenues at 1309 is 32.8% increase our uh, profitability is a 24 quarter high it is now running at 19.6% ebitda uh, our cash conversion is particularly very very good we have already generated close to 780 million of cash uh, this year which is about 170 plus percent of our pat uh, q3 cash flows at 226 million continues to be very healthy our deal flow has been very decent we have grown to about 455 million of signed tcv this quarter and more important to me is uh, two things one is success on all fronts cloud ai digital and analytics and other more important part is that our funnels are at all time high and we do expect our future quarters to be even more robust the as our deal flows or as our deal, our funnel have become very very strong 5g the three focus areas if you would recall i had shared with you as a totally as a differentiator for tech mahindra number one was 5g for enterprise 5g for telcos 5g uh, i think is working out very very well uh i mean i know it has been a little slow take off on 5g but the way we are now getting closer to the business uh i mean it is only showing and we signed up with a uk telco for implementing a 5g transport network uh the other area where we are seeing a very good uptake thanks to our acquisition of bond group earlier this year where we are seeing human experience management uh, has done remarkably well uh, they are adding uh, more clients they are adding more value to tech mahindra clients and as a matter of fact i mean we have a nice problem to have that is the bond group wants to almost hire 50% more resources in the next quarter and we have to find that many uh, good and qualified uh, you know uh, specialists for mon group so your company has the third area where we have done exceptionally well is on our sustainability initiatives your company is now 
on most of the global lists of in top 100 every external agency like a dow jones or cdpa list uh, we are now one laurels and we are in the top 100 list and in india also we will be at the top five or ten so overall i can say i'm very proud of tech mahindra team i am happy with the good steady quarter for tech mahindra and uh, we are optimistic as we go into the next quarter so thank you again for your support and i'm going to hand over to manoj bhat our cfo and i also have vivek agarwal who is our president for corporate development thank you cp uh, I, I think uh, what i'll do is a quick overview of some of the numbers uh, as you know the revenue was about 1309 uh, growth of 3.4% uh, and this was well rounded across both uh, enterprise and communications uh, if you remember in the previous quarters we said that some of our areas around uh, geographies like europe and some areas around manufacturing they were a bit slower and we were expecting a rebound that rebound is happening so we saw a good amount of growth coming in both of these areas uh, on net new deal wills, as CP said, it was 455 million, and I must clarify only one point. This is net new, so we are not reporting renewals. So this is uh, uh, almost, uh, I think, equal to pre-COVID levels, and we do anticipate acceleration uh, going forward in this. Uh, from a EBITDA perspective, uh, the margin improvement was about 140 bips uh, quarter on quarter. I think if you look at what are the main levers here. Uh, I think we saw uh, offshoring go up in terms of our fixed price projects uh, as we implemented the work from anywhere model and tried to change some of the deliveries uh, of our uh, projects. The second thing which happened was utilization is up at about 87%, which is an all time high. And both of these contributed about 80 bips to the margin. And with operating leverage coming from growth, I think it was the balance about 60 bips. Uh, I think from our perspective, as we look forward, some of the costs around salary travel could come back. But I think from a margin perspective, I think we are we are at the beginning of uh, a structural new band. I would like to think, and uh, and our goal of at least achieving 15% EBIT margins for next year uh, seems very very feasible. Uh, I think apart from that, I think the CP covered the cash flows uh, and the DSOs. So we have had a good quarter there. Uh, from our perspective, uh, I'll just leave it uh, with the closing comment that uh, I think we are making fundamental changes in our operating and delivery model that is being reflected in the results. And we hope to build on this as we go forward. Uh, with that, I'll, I'll uh, probably throw the floor open for questions. <laughs> 